Hi, this is Chef Dave Bishop from the Chef to You. Today I'd like to show you how to make some pie crust. Today we're going to look at a basic pie crust and a Pennsylvania Dutch. Let's take a look at our ingredients and get started. Flour, salt, shortening, cold water. Tools we're going to need today is a rolling pin, measuring spoon, two knives, a bowl, a sifter, and we got a pie pan. Let's uh, go ahead and start this pie crust. Okay, let's start by putting uh, one and one third cup of flour into the sifter, our salt. We're going to sift this. Our shortening, we're going to cut this in. We're going to make a flaky pie crust. We want our shortening, when we get done cutting it, to be about the size of a pea or a hazelnut. Um, just take your uh, rubber two knives together and cut your shortening in. I'm not going to speed the camera up and get ahead. We're going to do this on uh, regular speed till we get it done. If you have a pastry blender, you can use that also. You can use a mixer, but you got to be real careful cutting that shorting too much and making your dough tough. All right, a couple more hits here real quick. All right, I'm going to clean my knives off. Uh, take a look at there. This is pea size. Now I'm going to take my cold water. You notice I got ice in this glass. I do that for a purpose. You want that as cold water as possible. We'll take three level tablespoons of cold water. You can use your hand. I like to use a spoon or rubber spatula or something like that. So I don't have my hands too dirty. I have to go wash. water in today. Beautiful. Alright, I've got a nice moist ball of uh, pie dough here. We're going to let this rest for about 25 minutes in the refrigerator. We're going to bring it back out and roll it. Let's go ahead and roll out our basic pie crust. You want to add a little bit of flour right here in the center. You don't need for flour all over here, just underneath the pie crust. Set this pie crust on top. Sprinkle some flour on top. Take a rolling pin. Dust it with a bit of flour. You want to start out here to move my pie plate a little bit. You notice I've got plastic underneath here. That helps me for my cleanup and uh, just makes life easier for, all, for me. You want nice even strokes with the uh, rolling pin. I usually roll out about the length of the pie dish to start out with. Alright. Then I take it and I turn it this way. So that way I get a nice round pie crust. I joke with my students that they're making all 50 states I say, oh, that looks like California. Is that Texas you're rolling out? Because when they're first learning how to roll a pie crust, they have a tendency to have some odd shapes. Your goal is to get as round as you possibly can. You may want to take a look underneath it, make sure it's not sticking. Put just a little bit more flour to prevent it from sticking. We'll check the other side. Alright, take our pie tin and we look and we got about an inch and a half on each side. We're ready to go. I'm just going to go just a little bit more. Let me dust my rolling pin just a little bit more. 
You have two options at this point. You can take it and roll it up on your rolling pin or you can fold it in half. I prefer folding it in half because I'm afraid I might break it on a rolling pin. So I'm going to fold it in half. Sit it out of the way so I can put it into the uh, camera right here. Now set your crust about halfway. Bring it across. Another very important thing to do is to make sure you have no air gap in here. You want to bring your dough up and let it rest all the way inside. Because if you do that, you're doing a cream filled pie where you're going to bake this first, it's going to pull in on you. Now at this point right here, if I'm making a, a fruit pie that I want to top crust, I'd stop here and I wouldn't do anything else. Um, I would go ahead and put my filling in, do my top crust, take my water or butter around the edge here or milk and then I put my top crust and then I would flute it after I got my top crust on it. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to flute the sides for just a bottom crust. Let's zoom the camera in here and I'm going to show you how I do this here. I take and I pinch right here in the crust and pinch right next to it. If you look real close there's a diamond here. Now I move this left hand to the right spot and I keep moving it around here. I continue all the way around. If I wasn't on the plastic, I could actually spin this. Work all the way around to your fingers and get back in the original holes. And as you're doing this, you're actually cutting the pie dough on the outside. So as soon as we get to the uh, where we started, right there, just knock all your excess off. There you go, you got a beautiful pie crust ready for a cream filling, lemon meringue, something like that. Um, you can make these a day ahead of time, put some clear wrap in, set another one inside, um, and they'll last in the refrigerator for a couple days. Let's take a look at our second crust. This is a Pennsylvania Dutch pie crust. I've already taken the uh, flour and sifted it with the salt. I've cut the shorting in to pea size. Um, there was three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter cup of shortening. Now we're going to add uh, our liquid. We got one egg, one teaspoon of vinegar, and we got five tablespoons of cold water. All right, we'll leave that glass there just in case we need some more. Stir this up very well. Make a little valley right in the middle. And pour this in. Same way we did our other one, we want to stir it just until it's incorporated. There is times you may have to add a little bit of water to the temperature outside. It might be uh, humid outside, rainy day. Um, so you have to use your judgment. You want a damp pie crust, but when you touch it with your hand, it's not going to uh, be tacky either. Today looks like a day we're going to have to add a little bit more liquid on, on both pie crust. Okay, I'm going to add just a pinch more water. And I'm going to go in with my hands today. Now this is a good pie crust here. A little bit more flavor with the egg and the vinegar. You can use this for uh, fruit filled pies, um, pot pies, turnovers. I would use this one maybe for a cream pie, like a banana cream pie or a uh, coconut cream pie. I'd use more of the basic pie. Alright, you see we got a nice firm crust there. Uh, all the flour has been used up. Um, we're going to go ahead and refrigerate this one. Okay, we got a pie crust done. I got my basic pie crust here that we rolled out, fluted the outside edges. Again, you can put it in the refrigerator, use it later pumpkin pie, pecan pies, uh, anything like that, cream frilled pie, bake it ahead of time. Here I got my Pennsylvania Dutch pie crust. Uh, this will make a top and a bottom crust. I'm going to use this later for another recipe, so I haven't rolled this one out yet. This is Chef Dave Bishop, cooking and teaching. Till next time, may God bless.